Gadget Inspectors this week we've got an exclusive first look at Apple's new computer operating system, Snow Leopard. It's the latest in a long line of big cats to come to the Mac range of computers, desktop and laptops, and we're going to be taking a closer look to see some of the new features and technologies that have made this one of the speediest Apple operating systems to date. Cosmetically, the first thing you'll notice is that Snow Leopard looks pretty much like Leopard. In fact, Apple themselves admit that it's more of an iterative improvement than a wholesale overhaul of their operating system. They say that they were so pleased with the way that Leopard turned out that Snow Leopard really does just tweak and enhance some of the key underlying architectures which made Leopard one of the most popular operating systems in Apple's history. One of the major improvements in Snow Leopard is the speed of the operating system. That's because Snow Leopard leverages 64-bit support, which means the entire thing feels a lot slicker and more responsive. Opening and closing applications are noticeably quicker, while shutting down the computer at the end of a browsing session is about twice as fast as it would be if you were running Leopard. And it's these little improvements that power users will really appreciate. Snow Leopard offers out-of-the-box support for Microsoft Exchange Server, which means that now, more than ever, your Mac can move seamlessly between home and office. In practice, what this means is that your Outlook emails say at work, your calendar at work, and your corporate address book can now be built straight into the iCal, Apple Mail, and all of the other applications on your Mac, which is really good for people who are hot desking or who work between multiple locations. Where you'll really notice this improvement in speed is in Finder, which makes it much easier to find the files, folders, and documents that you're looking for. It's also actually enhanced the ability to preview documents within the Finder window itself. So for instance, this PDF, you can scroll through the pages of the PDF without having to actually open it in a document. And likewise, movies too can even be viewed from within the Finder window. Another area that's been tweaked in Snow Leopard is the dock, or more specifically, the expose function. Now, by clicking Expose, you're able to cluster together similar open windows from the same application, allowing you to see how many documents you're working on, how many emails you have open, or even how many web pages you've got going. So, just simply by hovering it over in the dock, up they pop. So, the burning question is, should you upgrade to Snow Leopard? Well, in my opinion, yes, you should because upgrading costs just £25, which I think is a really good deal. And if you're a family of Mac users, then a six-user license pack is just £35, which is a price you can't argue with. Quite apart from that, installing Snow Leopard rather than Leopard on your computer will also help you claw back around six gigabytes of disk space, which is enough for 1,500 extra songs. And that's not to be sniffed at. All in all, this big cat, Snow Leopard, is one that I wouldn't mind unleashing, and I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. <laughs>